Hi, this is Rebecca uh, from Journal Tsunami or Low Content Book Mastery and I'm here just to do a really quick video because there's a new um, sort of advertising platform that's rolling out to those of us who have KDP books and low content as well as long form books too. It's called A Plus Content. Now once upon a time this was only accessible to those who had Seller Central accounts. So this is kind of a big deal. The nice thing about it is when you go to a, a page that has A plus content, you are now able to add these beautiful images about your book and you can see it's really simple. This person just went to a, a place that had a mock-up. Uh, like place it or something like that and they just made a mock-up you can make these on Canva which is what I'm going to start doing and then they just put samples of their of their pages inside uh, with a little bit of information about what the page was about or what the book is about these are really simple to do I don't see that it's going to be really super challenging for anybody this looks like a stock image actually um, so this really shouldn't be uh, too challenging. I'm not going to show exactly how to do it, but I am going to show you how to find examples. So when you log into your back office, um, I'm going to obviously cover up my book information, uh, but when you log into your back office, you basically just go over here and you go to the three dots here and it says promote and advertise. When you click on the promote and advertise link, it will take you to this page. And if you see this A plus content here, then you'll know right away that you have it. Again, not everybody has it yet. I'm sure they will roll it out over the course of time. And I don't know if there's a certain amount of sales criteria that goes into uh, being able to access this content or not. So I don't know the answer to those questions about who has it, why they have it, um, and who got it first. So that being said, w if you do have it, you can choose the marketplace. I'm choosing .com because that's where most of my books are sold. Obviously, if you're choosing a marketplace that's in a different country, um, then you're going to need to be able to write yours in your language or whatever the language is for that marketplace. I'm going to make an assumption and I haven't checked yet, but once you make the page itself, it actually should show up on the other marketplaces. So I just, I'm still new to this, so I'm experimenting with it. So if, if you have found that out, let me know, comment below this video. Um, if, if you don't know who I am, let me just introduce myself really quick. My name is Rebecca Holman and um, I am the creator of Journal Tsunami or Low Content Mastery. Many of you are in my Low Content uh, Creation Basics book or in several of my courses. So I told my students about this A plus content actually about three weeks ago. Uh, I've been on summer vacation so I really haven't had a chance to dig in but I've noticed that some other people are starting to talk about it so I did want to jump in and let people know about it real quick. So when you see this in your back office, just click on these three links because those are really important for you to know the guidelines, how to create your content, and they also give you some content examples. The guidelines are very important because your pages are going to go into review and obviously they need to be accepted. Uh, by Amazon for them to go live. So if you break any of these content rules, your page won't go live. So you can't have your website on there. You can't be re redirecting people to your website. You can't have QR codes on there. You can't talk about things that are on sale. You can't compare yours to other products or other books. You can only talk about your books. So there's quite a number of, of content guidelines and restrictions here that you definitely want to familiarize yourself with. And then they also give you some examples. But what I want to show you is something really cool. I'm a researcher and so researching is something really at the core of my being. Anybody who knows me or is in my course knows that I love research. Well, I found a really simple and nifty way that you can find these books in your genre. All you have to do is go to Google and you're typing in and you can, I'll make sure that this is bigger. Let me zoom in on this page here. This is site with a colon 
Amazon.com, so that's a search string, from the publisher because all these uh, pages that have this extra information says from the publisher. So we call that a footprint, which allows us to find it easier by Googling it. And then you put that in quotes, and then after it, you put what it is that you're looking for. So this is pre-K. I also did a search for activity books, and I've also done searches uh, for coloring books, just as an example. So you can do that for any type of books that you're looking for to see if people have actually made these pages for books that are in your genre um, or in your niche. Uh, genre and niche are sort of interchangeable terms. So just so you can see how easy it is to find these, here let me zoom back in, um, I just do control plus or minus to zoom in and out of my pages if you've never done that before. And I found that these ones where you're seeing these big images here, those are the ones I'm looking for. Uh, so let's go and take a look at a couple of these pages. Now, most of these already are going to be, and I click on open link in new tab, all right? So it's going to take me there. Most of these are big industry players, but I'm starting to see some KDP folks that do have it. Now, in some cases, sometimes when I click through, it doesn't still have it on the page. I don't know why that is. Um, again, I was just figuring this out today, uh, so I'm still experimenting, but I wanted to share it with you first because this shortcut really can help you. If Even if the page doesn't have that information on it, um, if you click through a few of them, you will find it eventually. I do also see that some of these pages do take a little bit of time to load, and my computer's a little bit slow, mostly because I'm trying to make a video at the same time here. So. Um, trying to open these pages. Okay, so my computer is a little bit slow, but um, you can see now this is a professional company, uh, Dover Books, and all they've done is most of these have these big banners up here um, and just some pretty graphics and then an example of the books with a little bit of a blurb underneath and then you're allowed so if you have books that are in series then you're also allowed to show the other books in series underneath uh, here's another one uh, this is a cute one here you can see that they these are really not challenging to make uh, they're just graphics using some sort of a mock-up image that you can get from Placeit or you know, just type, go to Google and type in mock-ups. Again, my computer is a little bit slow. I'll just type, type in, you know, book mock-ups and there's different websites. You can also make these easily on um, Canva itself by just having pictures of your uh, book and taking pictures of it with your phone. So my computer, again, is slowing down here. So. I just wanted you to see how easy it is to find these images and this is an activity book image here so all they did was just take the interior of their book and then create some words show some more interiors write a little bit about it underneath and that's really all it takes so just do what I showed you to do you go to site that Amazon site colon let's try it zoom in again site and then colon amazon.com quote unquote from the publisher because that's what's on the page and then whatever type of books activity book coloring book pre-k activity book uh, you know whatever genre you are writing in and then when you see these big banners then that's an indication don't these books right here are just the books that are on the page but when you see these big banners it normally means that those people have added their a plus content to the page so give it a try uh, this is the best way to see what other people are doing to get examples and I'm sure that over the course of the next couple of weeks uh, you're gonna see a ton of people enter YouTube showing how to make these so I just wanted to make this quick video so that you could get to see it have a great day and, you know, come and join me in my group if you are on Facebook. 
Uh, I'll put a link below. Most Again, most people know me. It's Low Content Strategies. Just type my name in there and you'll see my name pop up uh, with Rebecca Holman. And this is my free group and I also have some other courses too. So hope to see you online. Talk to you later. Bye-bye.